We're going to get to more of those flooding concerns in just a moment. But first tonight, we now know there were multiple errors, miscalculations, and just a total lack of resources by the U.S. Forest Service that led to the devastating Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak Fire. All of this is outlined in a newly released review of what went wrong with that prescribed burn. Brittany Costello has been combing through this report. Brittany, it's reigniting that call to really hold the Forest Service responsible. Oh, absolutely, Julie Tessa. The agency is required to do its homework before these types of burns. The chief says protocols were followed, but it was all based on years old, now inaccurate information that underestimated just how dangerous this would be, with crews on the ground saying they felt pressured to get the job done. The destruction is unmatched, nearing 72% containment. The Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon fire continues to burn more than 340,000 acres in the Santa Fe National Forest, a fire sparked by the United States Forest Service as a prescribed burn in early April. But they were really working in a, in a really dicey situation. It was right on the verge of, of uh, being out of control pretty much from the beginning. In a newly released wildfire review, the Forest Service points to a number of errors that led to the disaster, starting with the burn plan. That plan is supposed to set conditions and parameters, guidelines for the fuels to be burned and resources needed to do it. This plan was prepared in 2019, but despite changing drought and fuel conditions, it was never updated to reflect that. Because they didn't take that into account, then they didn't make sure they had enough for Senel or enough water or let's wait until the conditions are better. All of that kind of cascaded from that. It was a domino effect. The burn was given the green light even at the high end of fire parameters and not near enough crew were on hand to get it under control should it escape. Congresswoman Teresa Ledger Fernandez says fire danger was underestimated. They did not value our communities, our homes, our watershed at the highest value they could have. They considered those values moderate, then those are the highest values that you could ever imagine. The report says crews on the ground felt pressure to get the job done. Clearly, we need to have the U.S. Forest Service change the manner in which it does prescribed burns so that there isn't this mentality of let's go forward anyway because we're supposed to get this done. Something Tom Reby says should have been gleaned from the disastrous prescribed burn turned Cerro Grande fire in 2000. These are exactly the same things that, that were going on where people were un underestimating the complexity of the fire and, and proceeding um, even though things were dicey. The Congresswoman has called for an independent federal investigation into these burn procedures and policies. The Government Accountability Office is moving forward with that. We did request an on camera interview to talk about this report with the U.S. Forest Service. They did not accommodate that. Julie. Thank you, Brittany.